Hello and welcome to a new video from Teaching Methods Simplified. Today's math lesson is model addition using a bar model. Essential question. How do you solve addition problems by making a model? You may choose to pause this video to think about the question and share your answers with your peers, friends, or family. In this lesson, we will learn how to add using a bar model and how to write an addition sentence. But first, let's think about this a little bit. What is a bar model and how do we use it to add? This is what a bar model looks like. A bar model has parts. This is a part, and here is another part. Together, they are a whole. A bar model can have two parts or more. It can have three, four parts, depending on how big your addition sentence is. So here's an example of a word problem that we are going to think about together and use a bar model to answer. Jim has three apples. He buys four more apples. How many apples does Jim have in all? Okay, so Jim has three apples. He buys four more apples. How many apples does Jim have in all? That's my question. Okay, so let's use a bar model to solve this addition problem, then write our addition sentence. We can first put the three in one part of our bar model. Then we can put the four in the other part of the bar model. Now let's add the three and the four together. What's three? plus four. That's right, three plus four equals seven. Now I can put the seven under that bar line, the pink line, to show that the whole is seven. So one part is three, one part is four, together as a whole they are seven. So Jim has seven apples in all. Now I can use my bar model to create my addition sentence. Take a look at this. So here I'm going to use the three and I'll write it down. Three. Then I will add the plus sign. Then I'll write the four. So now I have three plus four. Then I'll write the equal sign. Three plus four equals, and there is my seven which is the whole. Okay, so I have three plus four equals seven. And that's my number sentence. Now it's your turn to show what you know. Okay, so here's a word problem for you to think about and try to solve. Anna has four balloons. Tim gave her two more balloons. How many balloons does she have now? Hmm. So think first. What do I know? Well, I know that Anna has four balloons. I also know that Tim 
gave her two more. Hmm. So what is it that I need to know now? What do I need to know? Well, I need to find out how many balloons Anna has all together. Okay, I can use a bar model to add. Hmm, so we have four and a two. Where will I put the four? Where will I put the two? Hmm. Well, I can put the four in one part of my bar model, the two in the other part of the bar model, and now I can add them. What is four plus two? That's right, you got it, it's a six. Four plus two equals six. Now pause this video and make a number sentence. Write your number sentence to demonstrate the problem that you, that you use the bar model for. And let's see how you do. On the next slide, you will see the solution. So pause the video write your number sentence, and then check your answer to make sure that you got it right. There you go. This is what the number sentence should look like. Four plus two equals six. Remember that it can also be two plus four equals six because the order of the add-ins doesn't matter. I hope you really enjoyed this lesson. Here is a quick recap of what we learned today. How to add using a bar model and how to write an addition sentence. I hope you enjoyed this video and you can come back for more lessons and other videos like this one. Thank you, see you soon, goodbye.